If you want to know how you are able to get the industrial washing stations and the propellers, make sure to watch through this entire video to figure out how you are able to get them. So yes, as I just said, you are able to get the propellers. So first of all, what you want to do is go to any of the different uh, islands that actually have things. So for example, I'm just going to go to the Slime Island as I find that it is the easiest place to go and has the bit that's closest to spawn. But for some odd reason, it always teleports me to the Slime King. So what you want to do is go over to the fishing thing over here. You are able to use wooden fishing rods, iron fishing rods and the Thomas's lucky fishing rod. I would suggest for most people use the iron fishing rod, although you do have to be level 20 uh, fishing to actually use this. Um, but as I have the Thomas looking fishy rod from the event, that's what I'm going to use. So what you're going to want to do is throw the fishing rod into the water. You'll see a fish swim up to it. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to wait for it to hear, and then you've got to click. So as you can hear me clicking, you've got to try and get it inside the zone by doing that. And you just got to do that until you get a legendary, which means you are able to get a propeller. Uh, propellers are, yes, as I just said, they are legendary, so they are not the easiest thing to get. But uh, with the Thomas's Lucky Fishing Rod, you get an extra 25% bonus luck, which I think is really good. You're actually able to use bait as well, so if you have some bait and you start going through this, the 15% fishing speed... Uh, there you go, 15% fishing speed, which means the bar, the yellow bar at the bottom actually goes quicker. So it means you don't have to wait as long as you can see here. Look how quickly the bar's going. That bar is going pretty quickly, and that is much quicker than what it was before, as this does a 15% increase. You're also able to use tier 2 bait, uh, which I believe does 25%, ooh, <laughs> which I believe does 25% more fishing increase speed, which is actually low. So if you are able to get them, you really 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 want to use them as well they're just sitting in your inventory doing nothing so you're going to want to do this a bunch of times which yeah then means you are able to get fish quicker and that is awesome i will be back in one second once i've got another propeller as you're able to see now i have got another propeller i got 14 it did take a little while though i'm not gonna lie but i'm happy to spend the time in doing that okay so if you're gonna want to craft the washing stations what you're going to do is go into a tier 3 or tier 4 workbench and search up wash and it will be here. So what you need is one propeller, three blue sticky gears and 10 steel rods. Quite easy to be honest, nothing nothing too much and then bang as you can see, easy, another two smelters. These uh, washing machines tend to be used for auto farms or farms that use totems as when doing them the crops will become oily. So if I go down here and show you, when the items come off of, off these totems, they go into this conveyor and go into the washing station. That's because they are classed as oily crops, and that's because they've been uh, transported through conveyors and totems, so because it's not automatic. Oh, there he go. Let me try and pick it up. Uh, is it stopped? No. Wait, quick, grab it, grab it. Did I grab it in time? I don't know. Okay, so as you can see here, they've now turned into normal potatoes. But before, they would go into oily potatoes, which is why I've just explained there. Okay, here we go. Can I grab it? Yes, okay, here we go. So here you go. Now you've got oily potatoes. These can't be eaten. Uh, they literally have no purpose <laughs> until you put them in here. So bang, watch. Stick them in the washing station. Look. There you go. They come out as a lovely, lovely new potato. So that is the entire video. It's not a very long one, but there's not really too much to explain, to be honest. Um, so yeah, that is how you are able to get all of these awesome, awesome industrial washing stations. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.